How did Stephen get so involved in this, Nancy, and you? You know, it's sort of surprising, and people think that our family, our parents must have been survivors, because the fact that my brother produced Schindler's List, directed Schindler's List, was, um, was a shock, because we really grew up in Phoenix, Arizona, with very, very little knowledge of the Holocaust, and without any, my parents were born in Cincinnati, Ohio, including a grandmother, so we're very American, and, um, so, you know, we were late to the party. We were, we were, you know, late bloomers. And I think that when Steve finally agreed to do Schindler's List, and he was given the book 10 years before he did it, and he just said, I can't do that. I can't touch it. He didn't, maybe he didn't feel he was mature enough. When he finally did it, I think it changed his life. And, and that, in a sense, started a... Um, a little bit of a snowball, that it changed a lot of people's lives. Because in founding the uh, Shoah Foundation, the USC Shoah Foundation, suddenly listening to survivors, because there were times that nobody wanted to listen, and all of a sudden people sat up mm -hmm. and wanted to listen. And I don't like to say that my brother taught me much of anything, because nobody wants to say that they're, <laughs> they listen to their big brother. But I really think that he taught me and many people to stop and listen. Yeah.